Have you ever lost wind when you were out sailing and needed to get back or needed to maneuver in and or out of a dock without using your sail? I had a subscriber ask me to show how I attach my paddle to my sunfish and so I'm going to do that today. Welcome back to Adventures in Reach where I challenge you to try a new small adventure, uh, build your confidence and have more fun in the outdoors. Comment, go ahead, do that now where you have needed a paddle before when sailing. So basically I had this paddle attached here and I took some of it apart because the, the rope here was one of the older, you know, kind of, it was kind of an old fraying rope. I'm going to show you what I did and replace it anyway. Um, so there's a couple pieces to this. First, I want to make sure that this paddle can slide in and out without any, you know, difficulty. I want it to be one handed. I want it to be something I can grab really quick in an emergency. All right. So what I did here, I just tied a, a bowlin with a Yosemite finish. And then I did a triple overhand stopper knot. And then what I'm going to do is you can find these at the hardware store. There are these little plastic washers. So I stick a plastic washer on there. And then this is really just a, a piece of, uh, foam that I think it was from an old uh, canoe pad for you know traveling on your rooftop uh, to cut a circle you could probably do this a lot uh, neater with a hole saw and then another plastic washer okay all right so I, I'm going to do the same thing over here so I'm going to uh, secure the other side with another barrel knot I'm going to snug this up and keep you know to keep this foam from moving and you'll see in just a sec why I have the roller in here. Okay, so now that can't move and I do have it off centered on purpose. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna do another bowling. This is really a Greenland kayaking technique. Um, oftentimes the old, you know, wooden Greenland kayaks will have a little wooden bead at the front and that was for their secondary paddle. So if they flip over, lose their paddle, then they would have a spare, often shorter, but it's stuck up in underneath one of these with a little clip or tie in the back. And so from the back, this thing, it just rolls and goes in very smoothly, but it's still, it's still held down pretty well. So I did offset this because I sometimes clip uh, my, my winch um, rope here as well. Um, although I've actually started it, clipping it back to the fair lead. So the other piece of this, and again, you know, from back here in the cockpit, very simple to just slide it up. It doesn't take much to do. Um, so, you know, I, I paddle, I need to get it out or put it back quick, just throw it under there and that's halfway attached. So the second thing I do is I started out by just using this block again, this is an old uh, canoe pad for putting on your car top. And I just cut out the shape of the paddle and I did put these attachment points here and I have three of them. I could not find uh, stainless steel. I was kind of in a rush. So this stuff is corroding a bit and maybe I'll switch those out at some point. So essentially I just started with doing this. Now this works well, but it's, I don't know, it's not a perfect system because you take your paddle off and now you have this loose piece blowing around. And and I've done it, you know, kind of did it both ways, um, back here or in front. The benefit to being in front is that it's in kind of a closed system, so you're not going to lose this piece. The downside is that if you pull here, it's pulling up there. I don't know how much of an issue that would be, but it's just a consideration. Back here, you can lose it with a big wave, um, but it's pulling down in between these. I, I prefer it up here. Okay, so now I did, I did use some uh, water resistant Velcro and that fell off. It's definitely not waterproof. I can't find waterproof. Uh, and so I just kind of finished, you know, gooby gone or whatever, um, using that to get all the, um, the adhesive off. So what I'm going to use now, I have used this before in uh, water situations and this stuff is weatherproof. Um, we'll see if it actually holds up as well as it has before on other projects. 
coat the whole bottom. This might be the hardest part of this whole project. <laughs> I cannot get that. Oh, I got one. All right, so I'm gonna line it up right over top of this cleat here. There we go. All right, so that's, that's on there pretty good. Clip it down, and again, you know, when you have this clip, it can't, this can't fall off. No, this can't fall off. Clip it on there. We're good to go. So this will move around a little bit, but it's, it's really, it doesn't move far. You know, I've had this on. If you saw my video uh, with the Sunfish Sailboat camping uh, and the 35 mile an hour winds, I mean, there are big waves washing over this the whole time, and it, it never moved from this position. Um, and like I said, the only difference was a different adhesive down here, otherwise the same setup. So I, I don't worry about this going anywhere. So again, you can be sitting in your cockpit back here and it's pretty simple, you know, just clean up, grab it out. You need to put it back in, you know, you, you paddle up to the dock and you need to stow it again or you're into your island. Um, it's not, it's not a big deal to, to do this. It just takes seconds uh, and it's stowed very well. I do see some people with those fold up paddles and they stick back here, but if you are camping, then that space is at a premium because it's, there's not much of it. And sometimes with the bigger waves, you want to kind of keep your weight back uh, because you end up strapping some bags to the mast as well. And so you kind of want to even out that weight. Uh, so all the lightweight stuff that you can put up here, uh, I would certainly recommend that. So if you haven't checked out my other videos yet, I have several other sunfish sailing videos or small boat sailing videos. And uh, so feel free to check those out. I do have, like I mentioned, one about sunfish sailboat camping and plenty more to come. Part of this, just making sure that all of this is bomber, is I'm planning a trip to Isle Royale this summer at the end of the month. And I'm planning to do about 150 miles to and around the whole island. And so check back in for that. And again, if you turn your uh, notifications on, you will know when that happens. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.